I'm from Philadelphia. In university, we always talked about doing something to change the world. We talked about it all the time and how these politicians were causing problems or these companies were causing problems. We wanted to do things differently. And um, so when I, when I graduated, then it was my turn to actually do everything I talked about. And at the same time, I wanted to live in a different place in the world that I'd never lived before. So uh, I traveled around in Africa because that was as different as I thought I could find in the world probably. And uh, ended up starting a biogas company after researching waste and seeing how waste was very poorly used. When I first moved to Kenya, I decided I wanted to live in a low-income area, in a slum, uh, to get a better feel for how things work in Kenya, how most people live. And it was really an amazing experience. It was wonderful. Because people were very friendly. Um, there, I met a lot of very interesting people. A good friend of mine now is a graffiti artist who, who lives there. Another guy who's previously part of a gang and now runs a football team. Um, because he said, you know, everyone shouts goal together no matter what tribe they're from. So it really brought people together in the slum. Uh, another guy who's running for uh, a governmental position recently and I saw his uh, pictures around. I was really proud of him. Um, the hardware store guy invited me to his house for Easter, my first Easter here. And I thought that was really amazing of him. It was the guy I met at the hardware store. And, he always helped me solve problems, whatever it was. People are really shocked when I tell them where I was living in Kibera, in a slum, for about nine months or something like that. Um, but really, it felt really safe. Because um, everyone around me knew me and took care of me and watched out for me and we took care of each other. Helping uh, people scale their farms so that they go from being relatively poor to something where they can be really well off uh, makes you feel really good about it and you can always remember that that you're doing something really important. And then on a day-to-day -day basis you also need to be motivated and my motivation there comes mostly from how every day is something new. You don't know what you're going to be doing a month from now or a day from now even. Um, and uh, we're just running new experiments every day, trying new things, meeting with new people, building partnerships with other organizations. Um, and I, I think it's just, just the variety. You know, it makes you excited. What I think is really important is that I use my product, that we use our product, and we, it works for us. And um, if we're trying to sell something that we don't use, then there seems like there's something wrong there. That means either it doesn't work or, or we can't even develop the ergonomics better uh, because we don't even know what the problems are. About the first one and a half years that we had the company, we didn't have a good place to do research. It was always going to the field to try something on a client's house and then watching over your shoulder and being like, why doesn't this work? And you're like, well, I'm trying to do research, but I'm doing it at your house. And uh, yeah, it takes me a whole day to get there and back instead of just trying something for 15 minutes in my backyard. I think the fun thing about starting a company is you don't know where it's going to go next. I'm not sure how I'm going to help it next to grow to where it needs to be. But I see in the future that there's going to be all kinds of opportunities to make the technology better, to make our operational efficiency better, to make our customer service better, to a place where people just say, wow, it's amazing. I can't believe you're fixing my problems before they happen. I want to be doing something that is, uh, is new and different and makes me excited and gets me up in the morning. I think there's lots of opportunities and there's lots of interesting problems and there's lots of interesting places to live that are going to completely shock me. <laughs>